What's up guys, Marcus here, today I'm going to be talking about Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi is a Polish movie written by Mateusz Patsewicz and uh, directed by Jan Komas. It's the story of a kid who, with a criminal past, wants to become a priest but can't because of his record, but he goes to a small town where he pretends to be a priest in a, the parish of that town. This movie was perfect, I was really amazed at how good it was, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I was watching... Uh, the movie's nominated for the Oscars, this was uh, one of the last movies I watched, and definitely one of the best. It's one of the most well-directed movies of 2019, Every everything about it was great. Visually, it's outstanding, and the acting from everyone was on, on point, especially the main actor and the girl who becomes his friend. And there were a lot of long takes that were really well made, everyone acted really well, and everything worked perfectly. Also, sorry about not seeing any of the characters' names, but... I have no idea how to pronounce these Polish names, so I'm just gonna call the main character the main character. <laughs> the main theme of the movie would be morality, and the way it deals with that is great, since there are a bunch of characters who pretend like they're virtuous, or, you know, they think they are virtuous, but actually they're really bad people, and vice versa, there are people who look like they aren't virtuous, they aren't good people, but they actually are, so it's a well done subversion of expectations. And you know I don't like to say subversion of expectations, but in this case, yeah. The main character carries that morality debate within him, since he's trying to help people in that town, and he's trying to redeem himself by doing so. But he's a guy who was sent to juvie for uh, doing a lot of really, really bad shit, and who's lying to everyone in that town to their faces. So, you know, is it moral what he's doing? Probably not, but he's still trying to help people, and he wants to help people. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting debate of how morality plays into this movie and how these characters fit into it. that debate. The cinematography was the thing that really impressed me at how good it was. It was like the, the one of the, pr probably the best act aspect of the movie because of how well incorporated into it it was. Um, the lighting for most of the movie is filled with cold colors and the movie is very desaturated. Um, keeping in line with the main character we know uh, because it fits his personality since he's a very closed off person um, it also fits his conditions and since you know he he can't he doesn't want to get close to anyone so people don't find out he's not an actual priest and also the lack of intimacy he has with anyone because even though he wants uh, he doesn't want people to find out he also uh, doesn't like to talk to people as in you know building a relationship with them or, you know, the intimacy we have with him, because, he, like I said, he's a very closed-off character, so he doesn't talk a lot, about, a lot about himself, so it's hard to find out things about him. This cold and desaturated look also fits the town, since it is a very sad and reclusive town, uh, because there was an accident that killed six kids that used to live there. Also, after he becomes a priest, the callers, when he is outside talking to people, they are warm, like he tries to be with people. But when he's alone inside or when talking to the girl, her mother, and the priest, they're, they're cold because they're usually talking about the accident and they don't want to share intimacy. They, it's a very, you know, touchy subject. So it's not something that makes them closer. Uh, so it's uh, the cold lighting fits perfectly with this when they're talking about it. Um, even though the main actor pretends to be a priest and he dreamed of being one, he helps people think, think for themselves and not have, you know, a blind faith in God. And uh, that's one of the most interesting parts of the movie because he's a, you know, he, he tries to be a priest, his dream is of being a priest, but uh, every time he tries to help people, he tries to show them that, you know, uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not better or easier to just be like, you know, it was God's plan, and this uh, should have happened, even though people re really don't want to say that, they don't like saying that. So he shows them that they can think for themselves and still be faithful to God. And I thought that was like one of the most interesting aspects of the movie. The plot is very simple, but the way it all turns out is very interesting, and it doesn't really follow a formula for what we think is going to happen. I mean, sort of, I mean. We, oh, we of course know he's going to get caught at some point, but when he does, it's done in a very good way and very different from what most movies would do this. Very different when that happens in the movie because it's um, it's done in a very interesting and creative way instead of being, you know, following the Hollywood formula, which, you know, 
was probably because this movie is Polish and not American, because if it was, it probably wouldn't be as good. I was mentioning the directing earlier, so yeah, there is a near the end, there's a scene with some characters fighting, and uh, I don't want to say more as much as spoil it, but the acting, the camera work, and the fight choreography are all fantastic. I was really impressed, because the movie isn't about that, but the way the, that was shot was really fucking awesome so yeah i was surprised at how good it was this movie really blew me away i might make a longer video on it but that'll take a while so probably don't expect it in this year <laughs> but yeah the, it was a very very great movie and every aspect of it was a lot better than i thought it could have been so yeah i give corpus christi a 10 out of 10 and i can't recommend it enough so yeah guys if you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, leave comments down below suggesting movies or TV shows for me to watch. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.